Dear students, today we are going to discuss about career concentration in intrinsic semiconductor. In previous videos, we have discussed what is the number of electrons in the conduction band and what is the number of elect holes in the valency band. That means for the uh, bands we have discussed what are the charge carriers. But now as a whole for the intrinsic semiconductor, how many number of charge carriers okay, will be present? That is what we are going to discuss. So as we know well, the number of electrons in the ele number of electrons in the conduction band is equal to the number of holes in the valency band as in the case of intrinsic semiconductor. Both are equal. So n is equal to p number of electrons in the conduction band is equal to number of holes in the valency band i will write here number of electrons in the conduction band conduction band is equal to number of holes in the valency band okay in the valency band why because here this is the pure form of semiconductor so no impurity is added that's what how many number of electrons move from jump to from valency band to conduction band that many number of holes will be present in the valency band so this already we know that so to find the carrier concentration in intrinsic semiconductor i am going to consider ni so ni represents number of charge carriers in intrinsic semiconductor so it should be equal to n equal to p okay so to combine these two things what i am going to do is n i into n i okay so n i into n i so how can i write n i square this n i square is nothing but this is n i and this is also n i i am going to multiply n into p okay i am going to multiply n into p okay so the n i square is equal to n into p so this step only i am going to write now this already we have discussed small n is the number of electrons in the conduction band so in previous video we have discussed the whole derivation and finally we reached the formula finally we reached the expression for n is equal to okay so n i square is equal to what is the value of n 2 into okay 2 pi m e star k t divided by h square divided by h square okay whole power 3 by 2 and then exponential of e f minus e c divided by k t okay so this is what the expression for n and then i am going to write the p value what is p number of holes in the valency band so that also i am going to write 2 into okay 2 pi m h star k t divided by h square whole to the power of 3 by 2 exponential of e b minus e f divided by k t okay divided by k t so now you see the first term here 2 and here also 2 2 into 2 become 4 okay 4 okay next step you see 2 pi k t h square this term 2 pi k t h square so all are common here okay so i am writing 2 pi k t divided by h square okay so now here 3 by 2 is there here also 3 by 2 so this whole term is in the product okay is in the product so 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 right 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 and which is remaining within this bracket m e m e star and m h star so that one i am going to write m e star and then m h star so m e star is having the power 3 by 2 and m h star is also having the power 3 by 2 so both i mentioned here and then exponential of a, a term into exponential of b so what is that exponential of a plus b exponential of a plus b here a is nothing but e f minus e c okay and then b is nothing but plus e v minus e f 
whole divided by kt whole divided by kt so here i will give the hint what is the hint i am going to give here exponential of a into exponential of b is equal to exponential of a plus b so this is what i have done here a is nothing but ef minus ec by kt and b is nothing but ev minus ef by kt so both i added together okay so next step i'll write in the next page so what is the next step now you see 4 is as such is a here 2 pi kt divided by h square okay whole power so what is the power here i will write see 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 so what will happen if you take the lcm 6 by 2 will come so that if we cancel we will get power 3 so here the power will become 3 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 will become 3 okay and next term term will be m e star m h star whole to the power of 3 by 2 okay and then exponential of okay what is there we will go back and see what is the exponential term we are having now you see e f and minus e f so what we can do plus ef minus ef will be cancelled minus ec plus ev so first i am going to write the positive term that is ev minus ec okay so now we will continue our derivation so what is there here ev minus ec divided by kt ec divided by kt right okay so next step is Four, okay as such i am writing this 2 pi kt divided by h square whole to the power of 3 okay and then m e star and then m h star whole to the power of 3 by 2 okay exponential of here i am going to do one small modification what is the modification you see in this diagram energy gap diagram okay so this is the conduction band and this is the valency band okay valency band and then this is the conduction band so the lower energy of the conduction band is represented by ec the upper energy of the valency band is represented by ev okay in between ev uh, that means the gap between these two will be eg eg right so now what is eg value eg how can we write higher energy ec minus ev right okay but in our derivation okay you see this numerator part ev minus ec so if you change this if i am writing ev minus ec i can substitute the value of minus eg i can substitute minus eg so if for this ev minus ec i am going to write minus eg divided by kt minus eg divided by kt okay this is the value of n i square actually we need the carrier concentration in intrinsic semiconductor so i have to remove the square okay so taking square root taking square root square root on both sides on both sides so how can we take now ni square and root so i will write like this ni square is there and then i am taking the root 1 by 2 okay what is the term here okay otherwise i will make one big bracket okay 4 2 pi kt by h square whole power 3 is there and then m e star m h star whole to the power of 3 by 2 is there and then exponential of minus eg by kt is there okay whole bracket 1 by 2 
So this 1 by 2 will be for all the terms. How many terms are there? Number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4. For 4 terms, I have to include this 1 by 2. So let me include 1 by 1. So here what will happen? This square and 2 will be cancelled. So left side we will get n9. What we need. Okay. And then now 4 power root of 4. What is the answer? 2. Okay. Root of 4 is 1. That is 2. Okay. And next to this bracket. 2 pi kt divided by h square. What will happen now? 3 into 1 by 2. So how can we write 3 by 2? 3 into 1 by 2 as we did already. So what is this? 3 plus 1 by 2. Okay. Sorry. Yes. This is the power not a plus. So 3 into 1 by 2. So that we will get 3 by 2. Right. And the next term what is there? M E star M H star whole to the power of again the same thing. 3 by 2 into 1 by 2. So what will happen? 3 divided by 4. So the power will become 3 by 4 now and then exponential of here also you check exponential of this term whole power 1 by 2. So how can we write minus eg okay 1 by 2 will include here minus eg by 2 kt okay. So this is the final result of carrier concentration in an intrinsic semiconductor. So, now Ni is equal to 2 into 2 pi kt by h square whole power 3 by 2, m e star m h star whole to the power of 3 by 4, exponential of minus eg divided by 2 kt. So, what are the terms present in this expression? Let us see. So, Ni represents number of charge carriers in intrinsic semiconductor. We combined both number of electrons as well as number of holes. Okay. So, Ni is equal to 2 is the numerical number. Here also again 2, pi is the constant, k is the the Boltzmann constant and T is the temperature and H is the Planck's constant and M E star is the effective mass of electron, M H star is the effective mass of hole and E G is the energy gap between valency band and the conduction band. Again 2 is the numerical number, K is the Boltzmann constant, T is the temperature. That's all about carrier concentration in intrinsic semiconductor. So the result you can write like this. The above expression the above expression expression represents represents the carrier concentration the carrier concentration in intrinsic semiconductor intrinsic semiconductor okay so to derive this uh, part you should know what is the value of number of electrons in the conduction band and what is the number of holes in the valency band if you know both the final result both the values of n and p you can able to solve this derivation part so that two values n and p values you have to remember it properly so that we can able to derive this part very easily okay so now i am completing this lecture so if you have any doubt regarding this you can ask in the comment box so thank you everyone